In this episode of Lab Talk, we're talking contracts. Numbers. Hey guys, welcome to Lab Talk. Mason, we got some numbers to talk. Um, my head hurts. Too many numbers. I thought you were a math teacher. Exactly. Too much numbers. Too much numbers. I had to work today. You're clearly not an English teacher. Thank goodness. <laughs> Mason, we got to talk contracts. Mm-hmm. In this case, arbitration. It's something that no team wants to really have to go through, but they have to go through. It's a good thing for the players. It's basically how they get a raise from year yep. to year. Um, and the Dodgers were 10 for 10 in reaching agreements, not having to go to arbitration this good. year. Really it's good. a very good sign. That means they're on it. the same page as their players. Yep. The players uh, like where they're at, and um, they're able to come to an agreement here. I think it's because they want to play with Otani. That certainly helps. Yeah, 10 for 10. I want to play with Otani. I want to watch Yamamoto. Uh, yeah, I want to do that. Sign me up. <laughs> Let's look at who has signed Will Smith. Coming back, yeah, eight he, and a half million. I mean, he's, you can argue, the best catcher, but I think MLB has him at number two. Had a ball time. Right? Had a pretty tough second half. A concussion, man. Concussion. Got hit in the dome and wasn't able to, you know, come back. Same with Rizzo. My head hurts. They got, they got, they got dizzy. Couldn't see the ball straight. I can't stand. Yeah, he had a really rough second half, but I, I think it all ties back to his concussion and he hit in the head in that game with like seven foul balls. That was crazy. So yeah, not just, to mention Ozuna hitting him in the head. A couple yeah, times. just don't do that. Don't get hit in the head. You'll be fine. That hurts. Walker Bueller coming back just above eight million. Need him. Gonna need that's him a, big time. That's a steal, man. You're getting an ace level pitcher. Hopefully, come back as an ace level pitcher. For less than ten million. Evan Phillips signing for four million. Um, That's a steal. An elite back end yes. of the arm, back end of the pen arm, back, back arm of the pen, back arm of the hand arm. <laughs> so a nice steal there, Ryan Yarbrough, three point nine million. Hopefully he can factor in and uh, be that long relief guy for sure. this year. Yeah, um, he saw that. a little bit of him last year. Off to a nice start and then started to hit around. Got a little bit up. Then you got Bruzdar Gratterall, no. pitched to a 1.2 ERA. You're getting him at 2.7 million. Less than $3 million, and he's going to pitch 60 innings again. Awesome. Pretty good. Pretty good. Caleb Ferguson, 2.4 million. Um, Great. He's, he's going to be another top top end. He's going to be another top end bullpen arm. Yeah, top end, end arm, pen arm. Pen arm. Pen arm. Pen arm. Dustin May, 2.1 million. Hopefully he can make it back. I'm not going to so. be back until 25. Yeah, they they said if he comes back, if, if. he comes back, kind of like Bueller was the big if. If. It would be September, but they'll probably just shut him down, give him the rest. We'll see. If some buts. I don't want to. Lux, 1.25 million. Sorry, I cut you off. No, it's all right. I was just going to say, I don't want to push it because he's already been hurt twice in the last two years, so why rush it? Let him get the rest. Under pressure. That was, that's fine. Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong song. <laughs> Alex Bessia at one million. Hopefully he can uh, get back to his form from a few years ago because he hasn't been the same guy. Yeah, he has not. He used to be the guy that you'd want to come out of the pen. And all last year we'd watch games together and just not even together. We would just be watching the game at the same time, but separately. And as soon as we see him come on the TV, we call each other going, There's the game. There it goes. Row in the towel. It was lame. So yeah, I hope he comes back better than before. And then, of course, the last but not least, J.P. Fireisen still hasn't debuted for the Dodgers. They traded for him last year at the beginning of the year. Uh, but Major right deferred. shoulder yeah. surgery. Those, those shoulder surgeries, those are scary. But should be making his debut for the Dodgers this year. Yeah. And uh, he, he, when he's on the field, he's, he's a good pitcher. Let's move on to something we touched on last time. Marcus Stroman was nearing a deal with the Yankees. That deal has been finalized. Ooh, good luck no, with thanks. that. Thanks, but no thanks. Thirty-seven million over two years. He's also got an option that can be vested if in not in twenty twenty four, but in twenty twenty five. If he pitches one hundred forty innings, he'll get an eighteen million dollar option for twenty twenty six. Hmm. You're getting real creative with these contracts. You can have them. Yeah. Good luck. He got off to a good start with the Cubs last year. Didn't end so well mm-hmm. in Chicago. 
he's he's a lot of drama. Yeah, a lot of drama. We talked about it last time. Save it for your mama. Save it for your mama. We don't need to talk about that. No, no, no. Moving on. No, no, no. Last thing we want to touch on real quick. This is a short podcast, but um, that what top 100 prospect list coming out. Dodgers got four on there. So this, good. this farm system's churning them out each year. They know what they're doing. They know what they're dealing with. Player development has been really nice. Yes. And especially with the catchers, Will yeah. Smith, of course, Kiebert Ruiz, Ruiz, who's a top prospect, got traded a couple years ago. Now we've got Dalton rushing the top 50 prospect wasn't ranked last year. He's a catcher, top 50 prospect in baseball. Pretty good. Pretty good. So they keep churning out the catchers. Gavin Stone, who we saw a little bit from last year, mm-hmm. uh, he, he's he gone down in the rankings, was 56 last year, now ranked at 82. That's, of course, because he got rocked a little bit. Sure. But, I mean, he might have been down. He's sure not out. Um, I mean, they sent him down. He just wasn't ready. They needed him and they pushed him, I think, before he was ready. We've talked about that multiple times last year. So the fact that there's not a lot of pressure for him to have to come up and perform this year, it seems like, I think might take some weight off his shoulders. Obviously, it's nervous, nerve wracking. Be able to pitch in the big leagues at all. The fact that he's not going to have the pressure to have to come up and be the guy, he'll just have to be able to come up and, you know, show us what you got. Just different amounts of pressure. Under pressure. He's going to do better, guaranteed. When he was out there, he had a lot of poise, a lot of composure. I like his stuff. Yep. He's definitely going to grow into that maybe two or three guy in the rotation. Give him time. He's real young still. Yep. And another thing, if you look at the way he pitches, looks a lot like Sonny Gray. Let's put those up on the screen there. Pretty good. Pretty good comparison. Looks a lot like Sonny Gray. Hopefully, he can turn to a Sonny Gray type pitcher for the Dodgers. Yep. He's got the stuff to do it. I think he could. Um, just He just came up too early, but he will be ready. It's kind of like Ryan Pepio. Everybody, you know, you didn't really hear about him. All of a sudden he comes up and he just performs. It's because they didn't bring him up too soon. Unfor- unfortunately, Gavin Stone got a taste of it a little too soon. And it kind of, you know, he got hit in the mouth. He got punched in the mouth last year. But I think he's going to come back better, hopefully, maybe this year. But I don't want it to be too soon. I'd rather wait and ready for next year. I agree. Yeah. So coming in at 96 and 97, Dodgers have two more prospects rounding out the yeah. list. Andy Pajes, who we saw a little oh, bit in spring training. Good. A lot big, of popping that big bat. bat. Big yeah. boy. Big bat. Big, big, big. And then right-handed pitcher Nick Frasso. They're near the top in the league in mm-hmm. farm system rankings every year. Every year. And the Dodgers just, they do it well. Yeah, they know what they're doing. And the best part about it, you don't have to develop these guys into professional players for your team you can use them as trading pieces unfortunately but you know what if it helps a the Dodgers get better players that they will need and then b help those players get to maybe the major leagues faster because there's an open position like Bush I hate that we had to um, trade Michael Bush away but at the same time plays the corner we got Muncy at third and then we got Frederick at the corner at first base so I mean it's it's it was going to be virtually impossible if not just forever down the line to be able to play. The fact that he can be traded to Chicago to be able to play, to be able to get there faster and be able to play sooner, it's just a win-win for the ball club and the Dodgers and then for Bush himself. Hate to see you go. Good luck. Hate to see you go, but I'd love to see you leave. Lame. I'm going to cut that lane. Guys, that does it for us here on Lad Talk. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate any support that you could pass our way. Let's go Dodgers. Adios. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Numbers. I'm not going to cut that.